Hello everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create the offline installer of Office 365 including Office 2016 and 2013 so the, we have a couple steps to complete so first step we need Office deployment tool so uh, what I'm talking about is Office 365 business, okay, it's not the retail version, so anyway, let's uh, take a look here. So if you Google the Office deployment tool, you possibly will get this page, okay, so the tool including two versions, one is Office 2013 one, another one 2016. So you need download the one that will fit your need, okay? After you download, then you can extract, extract this file, okay? Extract the file to the one you want. I already extracted into my folder here. I extract in this folder. So now you have uh, usually you have two files, so one is the configuration file and one is setup file. Okay, so this is uh, step one. Then let's move to step two. Step two, you need editing the configuration file. So let's take a look at this one. So here's the configuration file. If you use your editor, I'm using Notepad++. Plus, so you edit this file, okay? So this configuration file is a XML file, so including some config. Basically, it's telling your computer where to download and where to save your uh, files, okay? I got a couple options edited. This one is the location I'm going to need to save my ins installer over there. And uh, those are the version, channel, and I'm going to download Office Business Retail. So this configuration file, there's uh, some introduction in the, in the website. Okay, so if we look at for example, deployment tools, so I'm looking at this configuration file, standard configuration file. So basically I just copy all the wordings here. So I'm not sure why the channel called default, anyway only default I can download it. And this is a version. And this is a location. This is the product ID. So if you search product ID of Office 365, you possibly will get this page. Mm, product ID here. Product ID, so basically, they have the Office Pro Plus and Office Business Retail and a small business retail. So there are three of those you need to choose from, okay? After that uh, is the language, okay, and the other product, Visual Pro, and uh, you, you can enable the update. I usually put it as a false. I don't want to do update during the installation. Another one is display. I possible will take this one away unless you want to do a silent install this will allow you to silent it's less no interface display that's but it's kind of weird okay so finally i got my installation file like this okay so now the let's move to the third uh, Step. We finish the addition and configuration file. Download command. So basically, 
you need to run anyway let me I'm going to run my command from that folder so I'm going to run my command here from this folder so here's my current folder so basically you need to run command like this uh, setup download so basically it will download file for you okay let's move back to the introduction of this uh, yes here's the command setup slash download so it will take this config or you need to put your configuration file here configuration file but anyway once you finish the download then you will see a folder like this you will see these new folders it's a it's a one more than one gig size okay more than one gig size so it depend on your internet speed you will need some time 1.3 gig okay after that then you can do the dust installation so i put a install bat file here so basically you need to run this one set up config and specify your configuration file so this command is also here set up so basically step one this is the download then you can do the installation after this, actually you already finish your offline offline installer and then you did the installation already. Okay, thanks for watching.